Guys, today I want to talk about something that I have never seen any YouTuber that trades Forex talk about, which is Forex losses. Yes, I want to talk about it. As a matter of fact, today I'm wearing a red shirt because we're going to talk about Forex losses. Let us have the very difficult conversation that nobody likes to have. You see, before I started doing these YouTube videos, before I came online and became the Dapper Willis that everybody likes to watch and likes to subscribe to my channel, and before the Forex Mastery course ever came about, that which, by the way, is one of the best Forex courses out there, I was behind the camera, meaning that I was also watching YouTube videos as well. Like I was watching YouTube videos, I was watch, following a lot of these Forex leaders, in quote, in the industry, and I have to... Uh, let me just backtrack a little bit. Obviously, there's going to be story time in this. I know you guys like to hear, you know, stories as to how things happened to me and how I overcame them. But I want you guys to take lessons out of everything I'm saying. So way back in 2011, 2012, I was following this group of traders, um, some Malaysian boys. They could trade. Well, I thought they could trade really well. And long story short, as time went on, I realized that these guys never spoke about their losses. I, I also watch YouTube videos. I I watched a significant amount of YouTube videos whilst I was learning how to trade. And I noticed that nobody ever spoke about their losses. Now, if I'm going to make this channel, the Forex trading channel that saves the Forex industry, that helps you guys ultimately, we need to have the, this conversation. This conversation is, I think, one of the most important conversations about Forex trading. Forget about anything, loss, because I have seen a trader literally right about to flip his account. I have seen a trader take a small account size 5k to 50k and just because of a series of losses everything was gone not only was everything gone this guy went from taking a small account to a big account and then blowing that account just because of a series of losses and then running into debt because one thing about losses is you just you want your money back okay so let me not digress too much. Let us let us usher ourselves into this video, right? First of all, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing great. It's good to be back on YouTube as always. Um, the reason why I wanted to speak about losses today is because um, one of the trade calls that I made on my last Trader Talk video, AUDUSD, has gone and turned around to right now we're in probably just before just probably just before stop loss right so maybe any moment from now between as at the time i'm recording this video we haven't been stopped out yet but maybe in a few days the market is going to stop us out and i'll be the first person to come on here and tell you that the the value of this, that stop loss is north of maybe so there's on two different accounts. One is 30k, another one is about 42k. So north of maybe 72,000 US dollars. I'll come on here and tell you for a fact that yes, we made a live trade call and for some strange reason, the market did not cooperate. Now, because this has happened, it has brought this conversation forward. And I feel... You know, I feel the need for us to speak about this. It's very important, okay? Now, I know a lot of you guys have losses. As a matter of fact, the Forex market is an industry whereby a lot of traders don't actually come out of it successful. Now, like I was saying earlier, during my early days of learning how to trade, I remember I would get into trades and... Now, us hitting a loss does not invalidate the top-down analysis strategy because, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's the most realistic way to trade foreign exchange market. It doesn't invalidate all the things you've learned on this channel. It just simply means that the market just did not cooperate. And as I get on 
you know in this video i will explain to you reasons why that happened but let's let's go back okay whilst i was learning how to trade i would notice that i would watch some videos i would watch some guys and then they'll be like do this do that do that blah 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 and then i'll do it and then maybe i would get into a losing trade have series of losses but when I came back on the internet, this guy is posting screenshots of, of winning trades, like blues. I'm like, God, like, dude, like how? I thought I was going mad. <laughs> I thought I was going mad. You literally said you're going to sell the euro. But then, after I sold the euro, when you said you were going to sell the damn euro, I lost money. And then, this guy... I don't know what he did and then he comes up with one story oh i flipped the trade da, 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 da. and the thing kept on stressing me out because i was saying is it that i'm not good enough what are these guys seeing that i'm not seeing guys i'm going to cut right through the chase you see most of these forex influencers don't post losses period nobody likes to talk about it nobody likes to talk about losses and that's actually the real reason why i actually decided to come up with this segment called um called uh called um what's the thing trader talk because for on trader talk you get to see me analyze the market so all the things that i teach on the forex mastery course i use the analogies and the philosophies from the teachings on the forex mastery course and i come to analyze on a bi-weekly basis so that you guys get to see what i'm thinking how i'm going about this how i want to execute it why i'm getting it and why i'm coming out so i you know it, I can't just come on here and pretend, pretend like that didn't happen. It did happen. And that's fine. But the question is, how do we come back from losses? Now, I know by the time I make this video, it might get a lot of views, might not get a lot of views. Usually when I speak the truth about Forex trading on the internet, it doesn't really get that many views. People always like to hear when, you know, you know, he met the African billionaire and all that. Yes, that's fine. But hey, guys. If indeed you want to stand the test of time in Forex, if indeed you know you want to commit to this market, if indeed you know that you want to stand any chance at using Forex to feed yourself and your family, you have to understand that you have to embrace your losses. You have to. Now, Let's take a typical case of AUDUSD that we just analyzed. Now, I remember we've probably made roughly about 15 trade calls between January and today from when we started doing the, 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 the Trader Talk episodes. And on the Trader Talk episodes, I can make about 15 trade calls between the then and now. Out of 15, I don't, I, haven't, I, I don't think I've taken all of them. Maybe 12 trades executed and roughly about 10 trades were right, highly, superly profitable. So what that simply means is that my strike rate is 9 out of 10, okay? Because there are times where I'll come on my Trader Talk video and then I would be excited. Oh, that trade, previous trade played out, we made money, did it, did it, da 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 blah, 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 blah. It's all good. You know, it's all good. But however, this one... This one went mad and for the fact that he went mad let's analyze why I went mad and let's let me educate you guys as to how to bounce back from losses okay because losses can throw you off balance guys I want you guys to do me a favor I want you guys to drop me a comment down below and tell me what was the first ever what tell me that first ever account that you blew let's talk about this Guys, when I was learning how to trade, I was blowing, blew the accounts. You see, the Forex Mastery course is as a result of sweat, tears, and lost money. What do I mean by this? For every module you watch and learn, that was me speaking right after, or rather, that the information on there was as a result of I tried this thing, I staked my money, it didn't work out, and I learned from it. 
So what you're actually watching on the Forex Mastery course, it is real life, a, a trader's real life experience. This is, I didn't hear it. Nobody taught me. The market ate my money, so I had to learn. I had to learn, you know? So that's what the Forex Mastery course is pretty much about, you know, paying. When I tell people and I come on the channel, I say, if this doesn't happen, don't trade. If the, all those things you hear me say, you probably think this guy just doesn't like to trade. I'm saying all those things because I, I had to put, they're like circuit breakers. I had to put things in place to ensure that I'm not getting into premature trades. I had to put things in place to ensure that I wasn't making the wrong decisions. Why? Because I had most likely lost money because I took the wrong decision. I don't know if you guys are here with me with this. So, you know, back to what I was saying. You see, I see a lot of YouTubers, you know, they're talking this. Instagram traders always posting blues. I, what, are you God? Are you God? And at that time, I was wondering, like, what are these guys doing? What do they know that I don't know? What do they don't know that I don't know? I was worried. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that nobody posts their losses. They take their L's in silence. When traders come on YouTube and they're posting all these challenges, oh, I took 1K to 5K, they would have tried it about two to three times before they come. So the one that works out is the one that they post. How do I know this? Because like I said, once again, I used to watch YouTube. I know this stuff. That's why I made a very, very conscious effort that as I was going to create my YouTube channel, I was going to try and make this as transparent as possible. I've never come on here to post my trading account before because I don't believe in coming to brag about the amount of wins that I have or the amount of money I have in my trading account because at the end of the day, that doesn't help you. But for the first time, let, let me, if I'm going to do that at all, let me show you my losses. Judge a trader by his losses and not his winners. I think this is a very important subject. So, how do we come back from these losses? Well, AUD USD, mind you guys, mind you, that we had taken three three AUD USD trades before this losing trade. So you have to understand that AUD USD had fed me, okay? I was probably up about 75% return on investment. And as at the time that I took this most recent AUD USD trade, I was floating at about eight plus 86%. So this loss would just probably nudge my equity curve back maybe 3%. As you know, on Forex Mastery course, I teach you guys, keep your risk low and keep your winners big. This is the idea. So obviously we've encountered this, the loss hasn't happened yet guys, just mind you, the loss hasn't happened yet, but I feel like it's going to happen any moment from now, so hence why I'm speaking about it. Okay, so, not just, so but if this trade closes out for a loss, we're probably down minus 3%, which would take us back to 83% return on investment for the year. So we have actually made money, a lot of money from AUD USD. So I want you guys to look at it this way. Whatever the market gives you, if the market gives you 10, you should be ready to part way with three. If you've won 10 trades, you should be comfortable with parting way with two losing trades. This is how I look at my losses, which hardly happened by the way, but that's by the way. I look at them as the cost of doing business. You have to understand that the Forex market, a lot of people don't really understand what is happening. The, fo the Forex market, people don't like to hear this, but the Forex market is a game of probabilities. A game of probabilities. So if this game of probabilities has been on your side for so long, you should not feel bad because at the end of the day, it's not your father's property. <laughs> it's not. It is not your right. It's not your entitlement. So whatever the market gives you, you have to take and keep. You see, what differentiates the, pro the, the, the forex traders that go on to do great things, like my humble self, and, from, and, and the traders who fall by the roadside. Guys, do you know how many people... When I started trading forex, I was in Nigeria. The guy that introduced me to forex doesn't trade forex anymore. All the people that I met along the way that traded Forex back then, I've been doing this 10 years, a lot of them don't, 
they come back to me i'm like wow i can't believe i introduced you into forex they have been dropped by the roadside so what differentiates the traders who stand the test of time are the traders that understand this game called forex meaning how you handle your losses really determines the outcome of your trading career it really determines if you're going to eventually make a redraw or if you're just going to keep depositing into your brokerage account the, what really differentiates yet again the traders who stand the test of time are traders that understand that losses are part of the game look at it this way you see in nigeria i'm using nigeria as an analogy now most of you guys live in from different parts of africa and all that uk and stuff like that i live most of my life in the uk but i want you guys to use this i want you guys to understand this i know majority of you guys actually do live in nigeria that watch this channel now the way nigeria is structured is it's structured in a way whereby they don't grow food in the southern part of Nigeria. So tomatoes, onion, all that kind of stuff, garlic, everything is grown in the northern part of Nigeria. Say you are a trader that sells products, tomatoes in Port Harcourt, and you've gone to Kano to pay for a trailer load of tomatoes. And the driver starts driving from Kano. It's going to take you maybe about a day and a half to get to Port Harcourt. Do you know how many balls of tomato falls off that trailer before it gets to Port Harcourt? The average trader would have lost about 15% of the value of the tomato that was on the trailer back. Why? Bad roads, it wasn't covered properly, rain fell, some will get rotten, this, that, 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 that. When the tomato eventually gets to the trader in Port Harcourt that is selling his tomatoes, do you think he's going to worry about the tomatoes that fell off on the roadside? Do you think he's going to start saying, ah, oh, let me start running back to the road to go and pick up all that tomato. I don't want, I don't want this, this, I don't want any one, one, nine, one dollar, one pound to get missing from my transaction. I don't want, he's not going to do that. He's going to look at what he has and be grateful that at least this one arrived here safely because anything could have happened on the way this is exactly how the forex market works so what you get you take once again the difference between the people who stand the test of time in the forex market and the people who drop up along along the roadside are people who can you see it's not about how much money you make in forex it's about how much money it's not even about how much money you keep. It's about how much money you can redraw. I know traders that have never seen a redraw a day in their lives. I will never forget my first redraw. Maybe I'll put a screenshot here. I was so happy, guys. I think it was about 2,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds. How much can you redraw? You know, it's stuff like that. So, in order to summarize this video, how are we going to bounce back from this loss? First of all, you can't let it disturb you. Your losses do not define you as a trader. I know a lot of traders who are trading with fantastic trading strategy, but once they encounter a couple of losses, bam, it's out the window. They throw away their trading strategy. It's gone. It doesn't define you. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It doesn't mean there are times, not even there are times. If I look at this recent loss, and maybe the loss we took in, I think it was the last loss I took was maybe March. There are times whereby you have done everything possible, but the market isn't just ready. This is what traders need to understand. And another hack, I want you guys to understand this, another thing you can do, if you encounter a loss, now this is directed at the Forex Mastery student. Now, for those of you who haven't grabbed the course, I suggest you do so. If you want the most realistic approach to forex trading, once again, the link is going to be down below. It's going to be around here. Absolutely amazing. That course was put together because, like I said, 
hope this thing is recording oh my goodness i hope it's recording if not this audio is going to be messed up like i said the course was put together from trial and error i tried this didn't work i tried this and i lost money and then i learned and that's why each module was painstakingly made to help you guys avoid losses and mistakes that i had made before in the past you should get it anyways back to what i was saying don't delete your levels it's a little trick leave your levels there because most times you'll find out that when you close your laptop for about three four five days and you come back you find out that the market has gone on to present another trading opportunity and has still respected your levels but if you go oh, this this analysis is not correct and you start deleting 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 delete yes you can delete those little lower time frame lines but the key levels the key levels and the minor levels mark the major trend lines leave them there because those levels are going to be there and they will play out for many months and many years to come if you allow just keep it you start to realize that the market will then start to cooperate touch these key levels and go on to do present you with another trading number just watch the game don't be in a hurry to try and take the money back i'm really happy this thing happened because you know when the loss happened in march guys this is my only i've only had two losses this year in a whole year only two when the first loss happened in march i didn't have the i didn't have the time to speak about like let's keep it moving but this is very vital this is very vital I, I, i'm not going to address losses again this is i'm also going to update a module on the forex mastery course how to bounce back from losses okay i need to do that it's not about how much money you make it's about how much money you can redraw so if I if I eliminate this aspect, I'm not I'm not doing you guys any good. You just keep keep watching these jokers on YouTube that are just telling you, oh, you can flip this, do that, do this, this challenge, one K challenge, five K challenge, two K challenge. A, they do like three different challenges. Of they record three different challenges and they only post the one that works out. That's not the way to go about it. You're only deceiving yourselves. Leave the levels there. Close your laptop. Come back the following week with a fresh mind. Don't come back with a mind of vengeance. Look at it as the cost of doing business. It is a pullback. The money did not belong to you. I'm up 80, 83, 86 before the loss, now 83, although the loss hasn't happened. How, where did I get the 83% from? The market gave it to me. Technically, the, market, the money is not even mine. <laughs> it belongs to the market. So the guy is like, you know what, Dapsy, I've, I've been kind to you all year. You've been shouting top-down analysis, top-down analysis. You've you, you been really fine. You really know how to trade very well. That's what the market is saying to me. You know how to trade really well. But I'm going to need I'm gonna need a little charge there. I'm going to need to charge you a little negative 3% there. Let's see. It's a little cost of doing business. It happens. And once again, this is not the time for you to start jumping around from strategy to strategy please stick to the to the laws of price action they will guide you through the good times and the bad times this is the essence of this message stick to the rules stick to the basics this is if it's top-down analysis if you're forex mastery student stick to the flow of the river stick to trading in the direction of the trend over a period of time, you will be more profitable. You will make more money than you ever make jumping from strategy to strategy. Do you know how many strategies I've tried over the past? When, when you watch my ads, a lot of you guys probably stumbled on my YouTube channel from maybe a Facebook ad. And then you heard me saying very bold claims. Indicators don't work. Signals don't work. How do I know? I've tried them before. They don't work. I tried all those strategies. I have them. I can give them to you guys. They, do, they didn't work, guys. It didn't work so now is not the time to start jumping from strategy calm down wait a week wait two weeks revisit it the money wasn't yours in the first place it's called the cost of doing business and i feel a lot better now that i've made this video i feel great i feel happy i feel i feel like we're one family being able to share my highs and lows although this low didn't really i'm i'm, I'm good it didn't, it's minus three percent i'm good it's not like but when i mean highs and lows i mean the winners and the losses so that we can grow this community properly and we can put an end to this only brokers making money in forex 
we can put an end to only deposit and no withdrawals. Let forex traders start making more withdrawals than they do of deposits. Guys, do you know how many messages I got because AUD USD didn't work out? People on YouTube, finally, this guy, he has been, yeah, yeah stop down analysis, and hey, we know your, your strategy works. This is, finally, he has made one, he, one trade didn't work out. The telegram messages, people were messaging, laughing, the comments, this, that, that, that. I was just looking at them and feeling so sorry for them. I was like, <laughs> in fact, guys, let me even tell you, when the, when the trade wasn't, when the, because I only check my charts once a day. Okay, I check maybe once or to, once in two days. I only look at daily candles. Okay, I monitor my trades on daily candles. Okay, I don't execute on daily at four hour or daily, but I because I don't like to check it. You know, I like to see how the daily candle close, and then we can always check it maybe before I sleep or something. So when the thing was going, like mm, my enemies on social media, they're going to have a field day. My enemies, oh, my enemies, they will be happy that Paul Willis has done one mistake. We have caught him. All the noise he has. No care. Come on here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to round up with this message, yeah? You are a great trader, especially if you've taken the Forex Mastery course. The link is going to be down below, as always. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. I used to feel dumb when I used to hit losses back in the day. It is possible for you to be right with your analysis and for the market to still not cooperate. Sometimes the market just wants to go and test and fulfill other key levels. Oh guys, it's even better let the market stop. Right now, I can't even wait for the damn thing to stop me out so that I can now look at the thing and now say, okay, is this where you are going to? It is better for you. Just stop. Don't give me the stop the damn trade out so that we can see what you want to do. Think about it this way. Be, if you're going to be wrong, be wrong quickly so that you can see where the market wants to head to properly so that you can then jump into the trade. But guys, don't jump in almost immediately, please. That would mean that will be revenge trading and we highly sit and we highly kick against revenge trading. There will be no revenge trading. As a matter of fact, I won't be releasing another trader talk this week this is already tuesday i will give the market another week another 10 days and then i will revisit i'm not going to be looking at any charts my laptops are going to be closed i'm going to go hang out and spend time with my family as a matter of fact i think we're going to start processing some withdrawals by the end of this month let me enjoy the money we have been making since january how about that let me put fill in my pocket guys i just got my driver's license by the way oh my i forgot to tell you guys my uae license just came maybe i'm gonna go buy a nice fast car enjoy myself bro this is exactly how you put it you prepare your mind for success you prepare your you you take care of it because trading is here see guys if you lose it here if you lose the mind as if you lose the emotions in your mind as if you if you if you're emotionally unstable you've lost you've lost before you even start in this game so as much as you want to learn and be technically savvy and learn how to trade technically always prioritize your mental state please don't trade when you're desperate don't trade don't do. you will mess things up i hope i've been able to cover everything that i wanted to speak about in this video guys give me two seconds let me think i hope i'm not leaving anything out i hope i'm not leaving anything out i hope i'm not leaving anything out i just wanted to reiterate aud usd we had three winning trades before the loss happened so it's absolutely fine it's absolutely and i'm actually happy happy this is happening because guys i won't lie to you the last loss we had was in march there about i can't remember what a loss or what a because usually when we do our analysis the, the market goes into green before i know what's happening like two three days profit blah, blah, blah. so to actually see the market not cooperate with my analysis for the first time in a long time I felt a bit of, you know, the emotion hit a bit. So I felt it. And I want to share with you guys. Because it's easy for me to just come on here when my trades are doing very well and be like, do this, don't do that, do this, and don't do that, do this, do this, don't do that. I felt it. So I'm like, hmm. Man, traders out there, this is what they're feeling. And most of the time, these guys don't know how to handle this. So I felt it first, and I'm like, okay. 
I haven't felt this in a long time. Let me come and share it on here. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's Dapo Willis, yours truly. I'm going to leave you guys now. For those of you who made money, whilst the reversal was happening, I saw that as well. Even the Forex, a lot of Forex mastery students that made money while the reversal was happening. I'm proud of you guys. Keep it pushing. For those of you guys who did not make money, who lost money, I'm proud of you guys. There will be, the market doesn't, you know, my Nigerian brothers will say, the market know they run away. It's going to be here. You will have more trading opportunities. And trust me, Dr. Willis, I'll be back here every Tuesday dropping the most fire analysis and we're going to keep making money. But this conversation needed to happen. If you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery course, you're doing yourself a great injustice grab it and learn how to do this thing properly so even when you encounter losses you know that you are dealing with a rock solid approach to forex you're dealing with a strategy that you know can stand the test of time once again love you guys very much if you haven't already subscribed to the youtube channel go ahead and subscribe right now i'm going to go to the mall we're going to go do some shopping i actually have a meeting in abu dhabi they're going to send a private jet I'm going to post this on my channel go and buy some nice suits Let's look fly, bro. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying till the very end. The links to everything, the mastery course link is going to be down below. Infinox Capital is my broker of preference. The link is going to be down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and peace out.